Firstly, the tra traditional medicine it is not going the scientific process or qualification. So, number of laboratories there is an exclusive uh, department has come for traditional medicine, Ayush. the department of health, Ayush. So, those people are the network they are establishing uh, for testing and clearing the medicines.
But until we do something extraordinary different on the health front and expanding the capacities and all those things, are we in need of some stringent laws which can prevent such kind of cartelization and exploitation of the consumers? And because here there is no protection and there is no option available. When I am sick, I have to go to a doctor and when he prescribes a medicine tablet which is costing me 80 rupees or 90 rupees and then he prescribes 10 tablets within 3 days, I don't have any other option but to use it. When? Everybody knows that the price, actually, manufacturing cost of this medicine is less than one rupee per rupee, but they are charging exorbitant PI. Help me. You know, question that. You see, they say the generic medicine in India, many, many times in the world, the only thing is spurious medicine should be banned, you know, with that tradition. But as a medicine, India is the cheapest, they say. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But you, normally as a consumer, as a patient, our Indian patient does not have that courage to ask the doctor that instead of this costly medicine, can I have, can you prescribe the cheaper medicine? He will say, no, whatever I prescribe, you take it. And most probably, most probably in extreme cases, the medicine prescribed by a particular doctor will be available only for few stores just outside his clinic. And if you go two kilometers away, you will not be able to get that medicine. Because there is clear mixes between I mean, this people, and there has to be some stringent laws to control this kind of cases. I have introduced a term, what's called diagnostic pain. What is diagnostic pain? You go to a doctor, that guy, in a big, a big hospital, they have prescribed. You go through so many tests, in uh, cardiology, urine, and uh, uh, then multiple the blood tests, uh, Pressure, they have got multiple places. So, this fellow, he went for a <coughs> When he sees that type of death, he goes to going to diagnose. He is still not diagnosed. He has to go through all the tests. Then he will be diagnosed. And the doctor will die. By that time, he has got the diagnosed pain. Because money, he needs a lot of money. So, one of the major requirements is how the doctors can be and this is the primary cancer. Ninety percent of the disease, common disease. Only ten percent special disease. Ninety percent should be treated in the primary cancer. We have to make it work in primary cancer. Okay, friends. Any, any, any health sector? Yes. So, like we are saying, if you want to uh, really make the primary health sector work, I think that like we need more health professionals. And we have dearth of uh, like doctors. If we take off any other education, any other form of uh, 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 specialization, be it engineers or anything, we have one year specialization course, we have two years certificate course, diploma course, degree course. Whereas in medical, we don't have anything like that. See, medical, I saw, I pushing that idea in Philippines. Philippine National College. They got a famous, you know, Philippines are famous for that. 